Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, is a common medical procedure that is used to see inside of the body in order for doctors to identify certain diseases or abnormal conditions. An MRI system is a very large machine that is typically shaped like a horizontal tube. This tube is also known as the bore of the MR system. A special table slides the patient in and out of the bore of the scanner. During the imaging procedure, the patient must remain very still during the exam, which can take from 30 minutes to over an hour to complete, depending on the body part that is undergoing assessment. MRI scanners can be found in a variety of settings, including hospitals, universities, and private outpatient clinics. During the performance of an MRI procedure, the patient is exposed to three different types of electromagnetism a powerful static magnetic field, changing magnetic fields, and radio frequency fields or radio waves are used. These electromagnetic fields are essential to the operation of the MR system and are activated together during the imaging procedure. Using the unique physical properties of electromagnetic fields along with advanced computer technology, images of virtually any part of the body may be obtained. Importantly, a critical point that will be emphasized throughout this program is the fact that the powerful magnetic field of the MR system is always on. Therefore, the dangers associated with a powerful magnetic field are always present. In general, MRI is a very safe diagnostic imaging procedure. The relatively few problems that may occur are mostly related to bringing external metallic objects into the MR system room or due to the accidental exposure of patients or individuals with certain implants, such as cardiac pacemakers, to the electromagnetic fields of the MR system. The bottom line is, if proper MRI safety guidelines and policies are not followed, potential risks and hazards exist for patients, staff members, and others. Fortunately, these problems can be easily avoided. You may be wondering, how powerful is the magnet used for an MRI system? The strength of a magnetic field is indicated in units of Tesla. A refrigerator magnet has a magnetic field of less than 0.01 Tesla. Magnets that are used to pick up junk cars may have a magnetic field strength of about 1 Tesla. The magnetic field of the Earth, which is responsible for making a compass needle point north, is very small. By comparison, the magnetic field strength of a typical MRI system, which is measured at 1.5 or 3 Tesla, is 30 to 60,000 times more powerful than the magnetic field of the Earth. Again, it is important to remember that the magnetic field of the MRI system is always on, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, even when a patient is not being imaged. If you enter the room where the scanner is located, you will be exposed to the magnetic field. Accidents often happen because people assume that the magnetic field of the scanner is off and mistakenly bring inappropriate metallic objects into the room. Most MRI system magnets can only be turned off, even in cases where emergencies exist, during a procedure known as a quench. A quench has negative and sometimes undesirable effects and should only be performed by trained professionals. More than 150 million patients have undergone MRI procedures without accidents or injuries. Only a small percentage of patients have experienced problems which have included minor to serious injuries and even a few fatalities. In general, these incidents and accidents occurred due to improper uses of MRI technology or from not following appropriate safety procedures when entering the MRI environment. This program will focus on safety procedures that must be followed by individuals who are not trained MRI professionals in order to avoid accidents and injuries in the magnetic resonance imaging environment. The magnetic field extends out from the MR system in all directions, including above and below the scanner. This is often referred to as the fringe field. This figure shows a stylized depiction of the fringe field represented by the light-colored area. 
The powerful magnetic field of the scanner can attract certain metallic objects, causing them to move suddenly and with great force towards the center of the MRI system. This is referred to as the missile effect as the attracted object becomes a projectile. Obviously, the missile effect can pose a substantial hazard to the patient inside of the scanner and or to anyone in the path of the flying projectile. The missile effect is the most critical safety issue for non-MRI personnel entering the MRI environment. Here is an example of the missile effect showing the magnet of the MRI system attracting a pair of metallic scissors. This clearly illustrates the potential hazard of bringing metallic objects into the MRI environment. Now let's take a look at a few examples of accidents caused by the missile effect. These accidents occurred at different facilities when floor cleaning equipment was brought too close to the MRI system. The magnets had to be quenched in order to remove these very large objects, resulting in temporary loss of the use of the scanners and considerable expenses for the MRI facilities. In this incident, a construction worker wearing a tool belt entered the MR system room thinking that the scanner was not on. He quickly realized his mistake when he was attracted by the powerful magnet and it pinned him to the front of the scanner. Not all wheelchairs are safe for the MRI environment. There have been many accidents related to bringing these large metallic objects into the MRI system room. Sometimes items like this chair that aren't thought to have magnetic components may also become projectiles. In one missile-related accident, a policeman entered the MRI system room with a gun in his hand. He put the gun on a shelf in the room. As he put it down, it was rapidly attracted by the powerful magnet of the MRI system, simultaneously discharging into the room. Luckily, no one was in the path of the gun or bullet and no one was injured in this accident. This picture shows a gas cylinder that became a projectile and is now stuck to the inside of the magnet. Missile-related accidents have caused at least one fatality and several serious injuries. The best way to prevent missile-related accidents is to be educated about the hazards associated with the powerful magnet of an MRI system. The immediate area around the MRI system is clearly labeled with danger signs. Here's an example of a sign that might be posted outside of the MRI system room. These signs often include warnings about medical implants and other objects that may pose hazards to patients and individuals entering the MRI environment. In addition to these signs, facilities have supervised and controlled access to the MRI system room in order to guard against accidents from projectiles and other factors. You should never enter the scanner room without clearance from an MRI staff member, even in the event of an emergency. MRI safety trained personnel are responsible for performing screening of all individuals before allowing them to enter the MRI system room. Therefore, you are required to undergo screening before being permitted into the MRI environment. Screening involves the use of a written form and verbal interview to identify items that might pose safety or other problems. Part of the screening procedure is to identify items that are not allowed into the MRI system room. These items include things such as external metallic objects and internal implants. During the screening procedure, you will be asked several important questions. These questions include if you've had any prior surgery, if you have a metallic implant, or if there are any metallic fragments in your body. Even the smallest piece of metal, such as a foreign body embedded in your eye, could cause a problem if you get too close to the system's magnet, and this could result in a serious injury. Women will be asked if they are pregnant or if they suspect that they are pregnant. Other questions will be posed to you to determine if you have specific implants and devices that could be hazardous to you if you go into the MRI system room. For example, individuals with cardiac pacemakers or implantable cardioverter defibrillators or ICDs 
are not allowed into the MRI environment. There are a variety of other devices that may also be problematic for individuals, including those that are electronically, magnetically, or mechanically activated, as well as certain artificial or prosthetic limbs and other external or internal implants or objects. If you have any question or concern regarding magnetic resonance safety, please consult the MRI technologist, radiologist, or MRI safety officer responsible for the imaging facility. Before entering the MRI system room, you must also remove all metallic belongings including watches, pocket knives, nail clippers, and jewelry. Besides being attracted to the magnetic field of the MRI system, objects such as hearing aids, cell phones, analog watches, and beepers may be damaged. Therefore, these objects are not permitted into the MRI environment. If you are assisting a non-ambulatory patient into the MRI system room, make sure that the patient is using a non-magnetic wheelchair or is on a non-magnetic gurney. Inspect the wheelchair or gurney for the presence of a magnetic oxygen tank, IV pole, or other similar components or accessories before allowing the patient into the MRI system room. Fortunately, there are many commercially available devices including wheelchairs, gurneys, IV poles, instrument stands, oxygen tanks, and laundry carts that are made from non-magnetic or non-metallic materials that may all be used safely in the MRI environment. When bringing devices and objects into the MRI system room, especially in response to an emergency, make sure ahead of time that they are not attracted to a magnet. If you are responding to an emergency, it is very important to know which non-magnetic rescue tools or devices are available and to only use these objects. Obviously, this should be determined in advance and the devices should be clearly labeled to indicate that they are non-magnetic. If you are a custodial worker, be aware that you cannot bring in many of the conventional cleaning supplies and devices into the MRI system room especially large devices like floor buffers and vacuum cleaners. Security officers must remember to remove their equipment belts, holsters, guns, bullets, handcuffs, flashlights, pepper spray, and other similar objects. Firefighters should bring only non-magnetic firefighting equipment and tools into the MRI system room. In fact, it is best to have a planning meeting with the manager of the MRI facility to discuss proper procedures in order to be prepared for emergency situations. In addition, it is possible that radios or other communication equipment may not work properly in the MRI environment. Therefore, this issue should be addressed with the manager of the facility in advance of an emergency. In addition to viewing the content of this program, I invite you to visit the website www.mrisafety.com, which is a valuable source of information pertaining to all aspects of MRI safety. This website has safety recommendations, a comprehensive listing of data for over 1,400 objects tested in the MRI environment, a review and summary of safety articles, regular updates on key MRI safety topics, and a search engine to facilitate finding information in a rapid manner. My email address is also provided on the website so that I can quickly respond to any question that you may have pertaining to MRI safety. Keeping yourself, your staff, and patients safe in the MRI environment is easily accomplished with proper training and attention to detail. Have a specific plan and perform practice drills periodically to ensure that everyone understands their role in the event of an emergency. The dangers associated with the powerful magnetic field of the MRI system should never be underestimated. Therefore, I encourage you to actively participate in the safety program at your facility by helping to inform and warn others about the potential hazards of the MRI environment. We would like to thank Dr. Frank Shellock for his expertise and invaluable input into this program. Additional information on MRI safety can be found on Dr. Shellock's website, www.mrisafety.com. 
This presentation is made possible through a grant provided by Burlex Laboratories and their continued commitment to medical education. If you have questions regarding this production, please contact the International Center for Postgraduate Medical Education. Thank you for your interest and participation.